Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at the serverside.com, and you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. But right now, I wanted to talk to you about bare Git repositories, and specifically, I want to show you the two different ways you can create a bare Git repository, namely with the git clone bear command and with the git init bear command. And I'm also going to show you how to do a regular clone so that you can kind of see the difference between the two. So I'm going to show you two different ways to create bare repos. The first is just to use the init command. And I'm going to create a new folder here, make directory yogi, move into it, and just run the git init bare everything command. And here you can see it's just initialized a bare git repository. If I just do the ls command here, you can see that I don't have a .git folder ls-a will show you any of the hidden folders. I don't have a .git folder. Everything that you would normally see inside of a .git folder is right in the root there. I don't have that .git folder. You know, if I um, just went in here and created a new folder called Pooh Bear and did a git in it here without the bear repository, you'd see that there is in fact that .git directory and everything that was in the root of the bear directory is actually in there. So if I move into cd.git and do the ls command, you'll see, well, it's actually not everything because there's a little bit of a difference, but all of the core stuff, you know, branches, config, description that's up inside of the .git directory for the, um, it's, it's right inside the root of the bear directory is inside the .git directory of the one that I created with the init command that didn't have the bear switch. So anyways, that gives you an idea of, of uh, one way to create that bear repository, so git init bear. The other is to clone a repository. So there's my GitHub account. Uh, you can head over there if you want, github.com slash Cameron MCNZ. That's uh, my Twitter handle too, so feel free to give me a follow. Under repositories, I've got one called my GitHub repo. And if I want to clone that, I just copy the content of the URL. That's the web URL. Now let me get out of my Pooh Bear. Let's create a new folder called Smokey. Now we're in the Smokey folder. And now I'm going to create a bear repository, but I'm going to do it with a clone. And so git clone bear, do a paste of the URL and then all of the content gets moved into this directory. Now, normally if you do a clone, you would end up getting a directory just with the name of the project that you cloned. In this case, you actually get a folder with the name of the project plus .git. Uh, so that's unusual. And usually if you would move into this my GitHub repo folder, in a normal clone, you would see all of the files in the repo. So this repo's got one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six files in it, right? But if I now move into that folder and do the ls command, there's no files in there, right? Because there's no working directory. There's no need for one. And so in this case, all of the files that have to do with the, do you want to say configuration or implementation of this Git repo? they're not in a .git subdirectory. They're right inside of the directory that was created from the clone. I guess you could say it's a .git directory, but you know we don't have one that doesn't have a preamble to it. And so there you go. If you want to create a bare repository, you have those two options. Your first option is to just do a git init with the bare switch. That allows you to start off from scratch. The other option is to take a existing active git repo and clone it but clone it with a bare repository. So pick your poison. And there you go, that's how easy it is to create a bare Git repository. If the need arises, it probably won't too often, but I don't know if you're an administrator doing backups, you know, creating a remote repository for people to use, you know, maybe the need will come around. Anyways, uh, if you wanna learn more about Git, GitHub, GitLab, server-side development, head over to the server-side.com, I'm the editor over there. And uh, also if you wanna keep up to date with what I'm up to, Follow me on Twitter at Cameron MCNZ.